Hey, welcome to RichardBankerWebDesign.com. Today we're looking at RS Form Pro, and we're going to create a simple contact form. So the way to do this is we're going to head up to Components. We've already got it installed. Going to go to RS Form Pro, Manage Forms, and New. Now this brings up a wizard. Uh, we're, you can skip the wizard and do it all manually. If you're creating a simple contact form, uh, the wizard's the way to go. What do you want to name your form? Contact form. Then how do you arrange your form? There's different options you can have and they, they show it all below. You can have a, we're going to go with the responsive CSS3 form. Now do you want to receive the results in your email? Yes. You enter your email address in there. It'll autofill one from your admin. Do you want to email a copy to the submitter? No, I don't. I want to do something different. And what do you want to do after the form is submitted? We'll show a thank you message to the submitter. And then you can choose your own thank you message. Uh, you can just refresh the form page. I prefer to at least say something. You can also redirect the user to a different web page. You can create a specific web page for the form. So depending on what it is, you may want them to go somewhere after they've done it. And then you'd enter that URL in there. We're just going to put a, a thank you message. Thank you for your submission. You're the most coolest person for contacting me in this way. Awesome. Next. Now, predefined form. You can actually choose a predefined form. And a simple contact form is one of those options. You can hit that and you'll be finished. I'm, gonna, I'm going to put a blank form just so I can show you how to go about adding some things to your form. Now this is going to bring you to this page, which is your editing contact form. So right now we have our contact form, it's open, and it's going to show up here. So the first thing we'll want to do is click on a text box. This opens up, and we want it to be a simple form. I don't really need first name, last name. We'll just put full name. Now the first, the name here is the name, this is going to be used by the database, it's not going to be seen by anyone. So what we're going to do is put the full name here. Uh, put the caption as capital. This one doesn't, shouldn't be capital, it can just be lowercase. Default value, I won't put anything, won't put anything there. Required, yes, under validations here. Validation rules, you can say, hey, this should just be alpha. Please enter your name. No numbers or special characters. Save. Now that's going to show up, and we can see it right here. And now we've got this is the first line and you can actually see the preview of kind of what it looks like uh, the next thing we're gonna put another text box and this one's gonna be for their email so we'll put email email default value none we don't really need anything for that required yes validation rule email address so then here we can put in please enter a valid email address. It's nice to change these validation messages up because if you have like 20 different fields in a form and someone enters something in wrong, they can easily go back and change what they did wrong. If they all say invalid input and you get, hey, there's an invalid input on this form, you have no clear direction of what you did wrong. So now we're going to put in a drop down. And this will be 
I'm just going to put here about us. Where did you hear about us? And internet search magazine friend colleague I will just put three required no it's not required so and hit save so our forms starting to come together you can see we've got our and now we're gonna want a these are all the different things you can put in your form and we're just gonna create a simple one so we're gonna grab a text area here we'll create a simple message And this one will put a default value in so you can see. Tell me about yourself. And you can also put descriptions beside them. For a contact form, a simple one, it's really straightforward, so it's kind of unnecessary. Now you can see our form here is telling us that we don't have a submit button, so we don't have a submit button we have to make sure to have one and there's two things there's a button but there's also a submit button and the submit button will submit your form for you so we're gonna put submit button and we're gonna put a label submit form I don't need a caption for it and there's a submit form so now when I hit preview, what I'm going to see is my entire thing. So uh, full name, you know, fill it out, email, magazine, put my message, hit submit form. Bam, you've created a simple contact form. Now there's some more information here on properties, but uh, check out the next video to see about how that all works.